Hello, and thank you for joining me, your personal style consultant. Some people want to sell you something. I just want you to look good. All right, well, today we're going to talk about coats. And it's really a good time to talk about them because it's the end of the season. And there are many good sales out there uh, where you can get a coat for a reasonable price. Now, what do you need to know about coats? Well, what you need to know is that there are three coats that are essential to your wardrobe. There's only there are three coats, and we're going to talk about them today. The first coat is going to be your go-to coat. If there is only one coat that you can own, it's going to be this coat, and that coat is called the trench coat. Yes, the trench coat. Uh, that coat was designed for the uh, British soldiers who were fighting in the trenches in World War I. And it is a great, great coat. And we're going to take a look at uh, this coat now. And as you can see, this is a classic, a classic trench coat. Now, what makes it classic? Well, it has to have certain things. One thing it has to have is wide lapels. It has to be double-breasted and there needs to be a belt uh, that goes around. Also, there are the military epaulets on the shoulders, shoulders, and there are uh, straps on the sleeves. So those are the, uh, uh, the, the significant uh, things that make a trench coat a trench coat. Well, I'll have to tell you something. I have owned many trench coats over the years, and I could never figure out exactly what all those what all those uh, buttons and flaps were on the coat. I mean, I, I have no idea. Maybe they meant something for the military. Or they had a military function, but I really don't know what the actual function is. Maybe you could figure it out. If we look at the back of the coat, you'll see that there is a flap on the back. What that's for, I have no idea. Maybe it's supposed to keep you warmer. I really don't know. But that is the classic trench coat. Now, this trench, the trench coat is actually a three-season coat. You can wear it in the fall, spring, and usually in the winter because most uh, trench coats sold today, back for many years, have a, a zip-out lining um, that will keep you warm. And also there's a collar. There's a, a wool collar that's attachable that will also keep you warm. So it's a great coat. It's your go-to coat. If you can only, one, only own one coat, this is the one for you to own. Now, what kind of hat would go with it? Well, I would go, uh, since this is an iconic uh, coat for Humphrey Bogart, he, he sort of made it famous. Uh, and uh, I would go with a hat that uh, fedora that Humphrey Bogart uh, would wear, and that's this fedora that you see now. It's a wide brim. It has a high crown, about five inches. Uh, it has a wide, uh, a wide hat ribbon, about two inches. Uh, that's very unusual. Uh, it's a great, great hat. Finish off your 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 look. You could channel your inner. Uh, you're any Humphrey Bogart or your 1940s film noir into this coat. It's a must-have coat. Now, you could pay over $1,000 for a trench coat. I certainly wouldn't. I think that's ridiculous. You could probably get one that meets your needs uh, for about $300 or less. You're going to have to look hard for them. They're hard to find. But again, it's a must a must for your, uh, for your wardrobe. Now, what coat comes next? Well, the next coat is a coat that was that is inspired by uh, a coat worn by the British uh, polo players at the turn of the century. Not this century, but the century before. And this coat, uh, this polo called the polo coat, it uh, was made out of camel's hair. Uh, the hair of a camel, supposedly, that makes uh, it, it's a rugged, more rugged. Uh, than wool, and it keeps you warmer than wool. That's why it's called the camel's hair coat. Um, and it has that color, it's tan. And they also, sometimes this coat is called the, the camel's hair coat. And uh, this coat uh, 
comes with, uh, it has uh, wide lapels, it's double-breasted, and it has a belt on the back. Now, I don't own such a coat, but I do own a coat that could serve the purpose, and the purpose is to give you a little bit of a more sporty look when you're wearing a suit or a jacket. It's not a casual coat, by the way. It's a sporty coat. So the coat that uh, you're going to show you now uh, is a single-breasted coat. It's a wool coat. Um, of course, it doesn't have, uh, you know, the things that the, uh, the wide lapels and the double-breasted of, of a polo coat, but it'll serve the purpose. Uh, it gives you that extra sporty look in your wardrobe. Um, now, what kind of hat would I wear with it? Well, let's take a look at this, this fedora. It has a, uh, it has a narrow brim. Uh, it has a feather on the side. It's a sporty look. So it complements the sporty look of this coat. It's a tan, a tan uh, wool coat. If you want to call it camel's hair, that's fine. Now, polo coat's pretty expensive. It costs over $1,000. Uh, a coat like this costs you way, well under $300. So I would, I would give, it a, give it a thinking, think about a coat like this. It's good to add it to your uh, wardrobe. All right, now let's move on to the third coat. Now, the third coat is your dress coat. And the coat that I'm showing you now is the classic Chesterfield. It is the gold standard of dress coats. And what is, unique, what is the characteristics of this coat? Well, of course, that you may not be able to make it out in the video because the coat, the, the coat is very dark. Uh, it's, uh, it has a, a velvet collar and uh, it has notched lapels and uh, it has what's called a fly front, a fly front, and that what that means is that the buttons are hidden. The buttons are hidden. Also, it has a uh, outer breast pocket, uh, which you could put a pocket square in. That's very characteristic of the coat. So that's your classic, your classic, uh, classic dress coat. Your classic. Chesterfield. Well, a Chesterfield, I have to tell you, it's a pretty pricey coat. But, uh, you know, what cost you well over $1,000. So I think it's worth the money, but again, it's, it's kind of pricey. You could probably get by for as a dress coat uh, if you uh, get a, like a charcoal gray wool coat that could serve as your, uh, your dress coat. And one other thing about the, uh, about the Chesterfield. Uh, and also anything and any other coat like it that you would buy. It is a coat that you can wear in the daytime. It's just not for uh, it's just not for uh, formal events. And uh, so it's like businessmen, lawyers, uh, bankers. They 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 would wear a, a coat, uh, you know, a coat such as this. Now, when I wear it as a dress coat, uh, you will note that well, custom says that when you wear a dress coat, like a Chesterfield, which is like a dark coat. This one happens to be black. Uh, you, should have, you should wear a, uh, a white scarf, white silk scarf with that. I don't particularly care for that kind of rule. I go, as you can see here, with a, uh, a, a dark silk scarf with a pattern. That's what I would use uh, for, as a dress coat. <clears throat> now... <clears throat> What kind of hat would I use with this? I wear with this hat. Well, I would go uh, if if I'm wearing it with a tuxedo or a formal clothes. I would wear this particular hat. It's a wide brim fedora black. Um, this is my my choice for a formal wear. Uh, now you might think this this hat is a kind of a little flamboyant, but uh, in that case, I would also wear it wear it in the daytime. Uh, I would probably go with this Borsellino, as you see now, which is gray. Uh, it has a short brim, ah, very, very beautiful hat. Um, I might wear that in the daytime rather than uh, what you see now, with, uh, rather, than a, uh, <clears throat> rather than that wide brim black, uh, black fedora. Uh, again, uh, again, you can get, uh, the uh, instead of getting a Chesterfield, you can get a a coat that's, uh, you know, a charcoal gray, a dark, dark color coat or a black one, and that could, uh, for about $300, and that could be your, your dress coat. 
So these are your uh, these are your three main coats. Uh, again, if you could only own one coat, then I would own just the you you would go with the uh, you would go with the trench coat. And the other two coats complement you, uh, gives you gives you a lot of breadth. Of course, there are more coats. I have more coats uh, for different occasions, but these three these three carry uh, you know takes care of most of our needs that you'll have for a coat, an overcoat, top coat. Okay, well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you found this uh, video helpful, uh, please indicate so, and please uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, Carpe Diem, guys, seize the day.